Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video. So today what I'm gonna be doing for you guys is another addition in my shades I buy a singles series that I like to do here on my channel. This is a series that piggybacks off of the random ranking series that I also do on my channel. So if you're not familiar with random rankings, I pick 10 palettes for Random rankings, I have my palettes numbered from one to 186. I pick 10 palettes randomly, rank them, and then I keep them out, and I pick a shade from each of these palettes that I would buy as a single. Now, I am not a single eyeshadow girly. I am an eyeshadow girly, yes, but not a single eyeshadow girly. So this I just thought would be a fun way for me to talk about some of my favorite shades in the palette. Um, you've kind of seen those videos before, my favorite shades in the palette. Well, this is my way of pulling out older palettes, thinking about what shades I love the most, and if I would buy those as a single, this is theoretical, because I'm not a singles girly, like I said, but I love this idea, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy it as well. So, hi everybody, welcome if you're new, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty on this channel, I love to talk about eyeshadow. Obviously, we're talking about eyeshadow today. Eyeshadow is my favorite part of makeup. I love doing crazy eyeshadow looks. I mean, look at the look I've done today. This thing is, this is probably one of the most interesting looks I've ever done. And I just was kind of like, not quite sure what I was gonna do because I picked these shades and I was like, what am I gonna do with this? And then this is what, what I came up with. And I really, really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. And I used the palettes and I used shades from the palettes that I picked for random rankings. So these are the same palettes as the random rankings video. If you didn't see the random rankings video and you wanna see all of these palettes ranked, please go back and watch my previous video, random rankings, okay? I will link it down in the description box so you guys can find it. Otherwise, just search my channel, you'll see it. But anyway, I'm super excited about today's video. I love talking about eyeshadow. I don't get the new new. I do not have all of the new releases. I do not get PR, so for me, I love to talk about what I have in my collection. I like to focus on what I have in my collection because if I don't, I'm not gonna have much content. And even though I know some of these palettes aren't available anymore, you might have them. Or even if you don't, you could look at some of your older palettes and just kind of fall in love with them again, you know? Because I think that's the thing, you know, we have to enjoy what we have. We have, our, we have makeup in our collections for a reason. And those makeup collections, um, instead of gathering dust, pull out your old makeup, use it, enjoy it, celebrate it. And um, yes, when you get to treat yourself to something new, great, but you know, Hey, I also like to focus on Bargain Beauty on this channel, so I hope you guys will like this video. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. That's very, very important. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You do all three at the same time. Join today, be a part of the DMB crew, and we're a small but mighty crew here on this YouTube platform. We'd like to grow, so I'd love to see you guys join the DMB crew today. And if you wouldn't mind, please watch all this video all the way through. That way you can see all of the shades I'm talking about. I am going to be swatching these shades. I typically don't swatch a lot on my channel, but for this video series, I always swatch. So I'm going to get into it in just a second, but first I've got to go get my fan. It is so hot. Um, and do you guys like my uh, top? It's actually like a probably a swimsuit cover-up or kimono, but I love these. I wear these all the time, and I think this is just so pretty. I went to a thrift store today and got 50% off at the thrift store. So, let me get my fan, and then I will start getting into these shades I buy as singles. Okay, I'm so sorry my fan is a wee bit loud, but I really need the extra ventilation, y'all. I get really, really hot. Thank God summer is ending. I'm still pretty hot here in California, but I can tell it's cooling down. So I'm getting excited for fall. We will be doing a fall palettes video soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that because I do a seasonal palette picks every season, every season. So yes, my last one was summer and we're gonna be doing fall probably within the next uh, 10, 10 to 14 days because I like to do it really close to the start of fall. So what we do here is we have 10 palettes here, so there's 10 shades we're gonna talk about. The first shades I discuss in this are the shades I've used on my eyes. So we're going to start with this palette from Rude Cosmetics. This is the Cat Girl Chronicles. I adore this palette. I think it is so, 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 so cute. This is what it looks like. The shade that I would use as a single is the shade that I have on my outer corner 
right here. The name of the shade, it's probably something Japanese. Ha, huh. Hachimaki? Hachimaki? Yeah, it's something Japanese because anime is mostly Japanese. So there's Hachimaki right there. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. I love shades like this. These Rude Cosmetics mattes are so, so nice to the touch. Okay, so there's Hachimaki. I love these dusky purple shades. Dusky purple shades. I love any kind of purple shade, but really my favorite kind of purples are these dusky grayish purples, like just really dusky and like muted purples. I love this kind of shade. So that's Hachimaki from the Cat Girl Chronicles, okay? So the next shade is from the Warlock palette. This is my favorite shade in this entire video, hands down. So here's the Warlock palette. Now I have this shade on the center of my lid. It's called Offering. When you guys watch, see this swatched, just prepare to fall on the floor. It is that beautiful. It's Offering right here. It's this shade right here. It is the most stunning blue gray shade. I mean, come on, look at that beautiful shade. So gorgeous. Oh, I love it. This metallic bluish gray. It's just everything. It's so pretty. So that is on the center of my lid. So next we're going to go to the other Rude Cosmetics palette that I have in this video, the freshly cut uh, Flower Child palette right here. Now this palette has 30 shades in it. I wasn't quite sure, but I bounced around and I, I picked like three or four that I knew that I'd want as singles. But the one I ended up with is this one right here. Let me check the shade name. I picked this one right here, it's Hydrangea. Hydrangea, it's a blue, it's like a cornflower kind of blue. That's what I have blended on the outer portion of my eye over, over the Hachimaki shade. And then I have a peach in my ear. I don't even know how I made this work, but it looks really cool to me. So here is um, hydrangea. And apparently, are hydrangeas blue? Or can they be blue? Look at this, they, their mattes are so good. Rude Cosmetics, if, if you guys haven't tried Rude, give them a go. I, I think they're really uh, quite good. Look at that beautiful blue. It's gorgeous, I love it. I think it's so stunning. So there is hydrangea, okay. So let's go to the child, okay. Let me, next, well, let me find the name of the shade. Okay, the shade for, okay. So now we're gonna go with the child palette. I love the shade that I picked from this because it really pulls kind of grayish, kind of greenish gold, it's so great. <laughs> It's called Right Hand Mando, and I love that name. It's this one right up here. It's kind of this gold, it's like this antique -y gold. Oh, and the, this, the, the, the shimmer, it's so nice and soft and, and just like pretty. Look at that, Right Hand Mando. Do you guys see that tinge of green in there? Right Hand Mando, I love this. I think that it's so good. Uh, I love, love, love the Child Palette. I just wish The Mandalorian was still a decent show. Yeah, it, it just it just isn't. It's not a decent show anymore. Uh, but anyway, alas, I digress. Lastly, the shade that's in the inner portion of my crease, and I wasn't sure how this was gonna go because I had the blue out here, but I used it because it was the shade that I zeroed in. Now this is a relatively neutral palette. It's called Your Golden from ColourPop, is remote. This is the shade that I picked for this, for this palette. I think that this is really pretty. Um, it's kind of an orangey, kind of a salmon-y color. And I love it. I love how it looks with the rest of the colors. Even though this color is mostly, you know, this, this color, this color combo is mostly cool tone. I just kind of have that gold right there and then I have this peachy um, salmon shade. Let me just grab a little bit more. And I really like it. I think it turned out really good. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Okay, so those are the five shades that I have on my eyes. I just can't even. So anyway, let's go on to the Cosmos palette. The shade that I picked for the Cosmos palette I know is um, Super Luster. Is it Super Luster? Super Cluster, it's Super Cluster, this one. 
this bluey shade right here. Super cluster. I wanted to use this today, but I really, I, I just had to use that child shade. So this is like a blue. It's like a, a it's like an icy blue. It's so pretty. I love this color story, you guys. I really, really do. Can you imagine just having like this, just like, just this blue eye, you know, just with this and this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I did a look the other day with um, my Fuji Five Flakes palette where I didn't put anything in the outer corner. Like I didn't put a deep shade. It was just an all yellow look with that peach on the lid and everybody complimented me. They loved it. So you don't always need to have a darker outer corner, but look at that. Super cluster. Beautiful shade, beautiful shade. I love it. Okay, Aura palette. Now I only have four mattes in this video. This one is also a matte, and this one is Wistful, the purple. <laughs> I mean, I already said it in the video. I said this purple is like my favorite thing ever. It is, it's very beautiful. Now, this, the, this formula from Ace Beauté is one of my favorites. So there's Wistful. Now, see, this is that dusty purple. Look at this bright, grapey purple, like a conquer grape purple. So beautiful, wistful, I love it. Love Ace Beauté, I just wish, like all get out, that they would just get with it and get this rebrand done and have something new. I want more Ace Beauté in my life. So there is wistful. Next shade comes from the Claws palette. And I think, I can't even remember which one I picked. Oh, Formidable, this one, this pink over here. That's the one I picked. Uh, it feels good, but these, these shadows don't perform very well. I just don't know what, what's up with this palette. But anyway, there's Formidable, Formidable, F-U-R, not F-I-R, Formidable, you know, for a kitty. Okay, now we have the Femme Rosa She palette. Oh, my Lanta. I love this palette. I don't think these have shade names. Nope, they don't. But this is the shade, it's on the back, but I'm not gonna figure it out. It's this one. This one right here. This is my absolute favorite shade in this palette by far. I love it. And like I said, they, these ColourPop shimmers, I love how they feel when you swatch them. So this is another pink, but it's a little bit deeper. So it's very pretty. So there's that shade. I love that too. Heavens, heavens, heavens. Okay, and the last one is also a shimmer. This one's from the Beauty Bay um, Dark Fantasy palette, okay? I love these palette. I love this palette. Um, let me see what the shade is called. I think it's called Code, yeah. It's called Code. It's this silver right here, but it's kind of a transparent base. So it's kind of sheer, but boy, is it pretty. It doesn't look sheer on my finger, but when I when I put it on my when I put it on my arm, you can see it's kind of a sheer shade. It's very sheer, glossy, kind of a glossy shimmer. Okay, and that's code. Here you guys are the shades I buy singles for this edition of Shades I Buy Singles. What do you guys think of this? I think this is stunning. I love the mattes that I have in here. Um, the oddest shade in here is probably remote because it just doesn't go with the rest of the cooler tones. These two shades are the warmest, but the rest of it is relatively cool. But you can mix cool with warm, hence I've done it today. So there you go, you guys. What do you think? Do you like this color story? Yes, I do. I love, love, love all these shades. Um, even the two pinks are different, so you could really do a really pretty pink look with kind of that warm crease with the remote. You can go all blue, um, you can go all purple. You can do so many different things with this color story. So I really, really like it. So if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, I want you to leave me a cat. A cat for the Cat Girl Chronicles palette, which is probably one of the most underrated palettes I've ever used in my entire life. This is so good from Rude Cosmetics. Okay, whoopsie, I lost my sleeve uh, for Warlock, but I'll pick it up. This, I want you guys to leave me a cat emoji. So if you made it all the way to the end, leave me a cat emoji. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe before you leave. And I'm going to leave you with this. Borahe, finger hearts, I purple you. You're awesome and amazing. When I say Borahe, I mean, that means I purple you. And when I say that I purple you, that means I love every color of you. Purple is the BTS color, but I happen to think of the pur I purple you as an all-encompassing color of acceptance, love, peace, harmony, 
because uh, that's what BTS symbolizes. And so when I say blue or hate, for those of you who are not familiar with what I mean, that means I purple you and it's a BTS term, okay? So you know I love K-pop. If you didn't, now you do. And I'm going to remember to remind you guys to fill your cup, give yourself self-care, love, time, attention that you need to fill your cup, to rejuvenate, to be well rested so that you can go back out into the world and fill others' cups, give other people attention that needs your help, that you're there to be a positive light in the world to them when they are down. Because if we uplift one another, we can accomplish anything, okay? So we want to love others as we, uh, we want to love others as Jesus has loved us, and we want to treat others as we would like to be treated. Very, very important. I like to say that here on this channel. Don't mean to be preachy, but you know what? We should treat each other with dignity and respect always, regardless of our opinions and our different points of view. We are all human, and we are all members of this human race. So let's all get together and be one big, happy, colorful family, if you will. Yes, I include everyone in this, in this, this, this uh, wonderful, beautiful life. Okay? So, you guys, just remember, Borje, love yourself. Love others. May God bless you. Amen. And may the force be with you always. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you in my next video. TTFN.